Woodcasters. Welcome to the back side of the barn. Today we're going to go over how to put together the full NSR gas station. And I have to thank my customer on this one. They were really great about letting me hold on to their machine a little bit longer to make this video. So, let's start off. What we do, this is the gas station, as it is all assembled. So first want to take the Take off the 3 heat shell, and I'm just going to set that aside. When your gas station arrives on your front door, and it all comes by U.S. mail, this all breaks down into 16 by 16 by 16 boxes, except for the fuel hopper. Um, the first thing you want going to want to do is pull out the ash bin. The ash bin is right here. You can identify it by three welded tabs on the side of the cylindrical section. Take this piece out. Next thing you want to do is take out the three legs. Put your legs on. The legs just go on by these two bolts here. And at that point, if you've already got your cart made, and I strongly advise that you do this kind of four rail cart. This works really nice. You can get a bucket under it. Um, you don't get a lot of droplets on it. It just really works slick. And the big caster tires make it easy to move around. So, the first thing you're going to do, put the legs on it, screw it down to your cart. Okay, because we're going to build off this platform. Next thing you want to do is reach into the boxes, grab your hearth. You can identify your hearth by the four nozzles sticking out of it. Set that on, bolt it in place. You want to watch to make sure that these mouse bites and the timing marks all align. These are all welded together so that any variation in the flanges all made up with each other forever. Once you have the hearth in place, um, put in, oops, I don't have it, your grate shaker wheel and adjust your grate, be it the pellet grate or the chip grate, Pellet grade is the 8 bar, the chip grade is the 3 bar. Adjust your grade so that it's in the reduction tube and it's 2 inches below the restriction. Okay, the next piece we're going to put together, just bolt on is the fuel hopper. I mean, pretty simple, just put the bolts in, snug it up, and then put your puff lid on. And you'll see that all the uh, screws all ship in place because I make sure that I assemble everything before one of these ever goes out the door. So then you'll have your Victoria in place on your cart. The next thing you're going to want to do, take off uh, this air cooler box and take off the bottom uh, ash clean out, the bottom clean out. Okay. What, the reason you have to do that is because if I try to spin this on right now, it'll bump the side rails. By taking the air box and the bottom off, you can spin it on and tighten it up. I don't make mine super tight. I don't reef it down with a pipe wrench or anything. Um, hand tight is good enough. So then add the rest of these items. Add the 2 inch elbow. Add the flange coupling. Uh, put on the T, and then this is your first load carrying brace that carries the load down to the cart. Put on the 2 inch pipe, it's inside here, and then just drop on the uh, first T, the connector, the second T. At that point you can uh, spin on this whole assembly. I pre-construct pre all of this. Come on over here, put your center pipe in place, slide this piece of ductwork over the 2 inch pipe. Now you'll notice in back is the cooler motor. So your gas is going to be coming this way, but your cooling air you want to go this way. This is a counterflow heat exchanger, and by going counterflow, it maximizes the temperature difference between the cooling air and the gas and you take the most heat out. So that puts us at this point. Add on the inch and a half pipe nipple over here, 
put your uh, second load carrying T right here. At this point, reach into your box, pull out your final filter assembly. Again, you're going to need to take off the air cleaner. This is just hose clamped on, so just look around the back, you'll see the end of the hose clamp. Uh, take this off, spin it on, because right now if I try to spin this, it will bang right here. Once it's installed, put the air box on. Then you can come back here, or excuse me, up on top, put the T on. There's a pipe nipple here. And let me see if I can rotate this around. This is, this is where your gas comes out. This is your drip leg to make sure any condensate uh, gets dropped into this leg. Now, for liability reasons, I don't have mason jars on this. Uh, I include the parts for it. If you modify this and put the mason jars on it, that's on you. Hey, the litigious world we live in. Okay, and then this gas hose comes all assembled. The last item is your engine carburetor. This is the air inlet for your engine. And all of this comes pre-assembled. One thing to notice, these are gator lock locking fittings. I got away from the banjos because they tended to rattle loose. Press the red buttons in. And then the two handles come down. And you can separate it. This gas station has all the latest and greatest features. This has everything I know to make a good machine. It even has the gas line priming input port over here. So I can do one of two things if I'm doing a raw wood start. I can short circuit the system, have the dirty gas come right to here and out, so I bypass the final filter. And once I've got good gas, then I can just plug on right here, and I can suck through the final filter. So I hope this was helpful. I was going to do a piece by piece, actually grab onto it, and you know, assemble the whole thing in the video. But by the time you put on 200 some odd volts, we'd all die of boredom. So, hope this helps, and I'll talk to you later. Thank you.